Okay, so I want to show you Samsung Galaxy S2. This is running Pure Look. This is a Samsung Galaxy S3 ROM. Or somebody made it to look like that. I'm just going to first I'm going to show you the like what's installed when you get it. I customized it just a little like how I wanted the home screens and whatnot. So this is what you get when you get the phone. So you got Clockwork Mod, you got your gallery, S Memo, All Share Button. This is how the things look. S Suggest. Everything has that. That Samsung Galaxy S3 look to it. Um, just remember to download deluxe settings, try to get it free online, don't pay for it, don't be stupid, like some people are, they pay for shit on Android. Oh, I accidentally added that. Uh, I'm going to show you the... I'm going to show you the settings now. I'm just going to change the brightness to see if that helps. I'm going to change that to uh, dynamic. Go OK. I turn the brightness down so on video it will look better. Uh, power saving mode is not on, keep in mind. But, uh, I just want to show you what's running. I just put Force GPU rendering on. That improves uh, 2D rendering in performance. Here's the build, XLPG, that's the latest ice cream sandwich for S2 you can get. Um, node for the kernel, I have it in battery optimized saving mode, just in the kernel. So I don't know for sure if that will affect the quadrant score, and I'm going to run quadrant here. I'm just going to quickly optimize the phone, so I make sure like... Just make sure a few apps aren't running and stuff like that. And then you're going to go to Quadrant Standard. It's the first time using it on this ROM. I'm going to show you two cores right there. Cyan kernel, 4.03. And I want to show you the build date, June 9th, 2012. And we're going to run the benchmark.
Let me just move this a little. There we go. Let's go, yes. Okay, I'm gonna zoom all the way out. Now I'm gonna show you what my device got. Pretty much like what, I, what I've found after I've tested a whole bunch of ROMs. Uh, for ice cream sandwich and anything on the Galaxy S2, I found anything between 39 to 42 and gives you solid performance. And this is where it lied in between. The 1X is the quad core version, probably what they're testing. So, yeah, thanks for watching.